An emergency court hearing was held today in Isabella County. At issue, who should be on the ballot in a township supervisor race, which ended in a tie and throw in a lawsuit to boot. Our Terry Camp joins us in the studio to sort this all out for us. So Terry, did the judge make a decision? Yes, he did, Angie. We told you about this on Tuesday. Two candidates in the Wise Township Supervisor race ended up in a 100 to 100 tie. A tiebreaker decided the contest, but then that lawsuit was filed because of some confusing election paperwork. I put my heart into this election trying to win it. Richard Loss actually won the tiebreaker in the Wise Township Supervisor race on the Republican side in the August primary. But the current supervisor, Robert Moore, who lost the 100 to 100 tiebreaker, questioned paperwork that indicated Loss was actually running in the primary as an independent and shouldn't have been on the Republican ballot. I'm not real, real excited about either party decisions. I figured I would run as an independent. Before the primary, Law says election officials said there was a problem with his paperwork and he changed his mind, scratching out independent and writing Republican on his affidavit of identity. But Law says he wasn't informed that there would then be an issue with his nominating petitions, which still listed him as an independent. I'm not the one at fault here. I don't feel that I did anything wrong. Moore filed the lawsuit, and Isabella County Judge Eric Jaynes heard arguments in court, siding with Moore's claim he should be the Republican candidate and throwing out the possibility that Loss may have to run as a write-in candidate. Write-in, that, that would have been tough. I agree 100%, yes. Jaynes ruled that Loss will be on the ballot as an independent, and Robert Moore will be listed as the Republican candidate. Moore is satisfied with the ruling. To tell you the truth, I think that was probably the fairest that the judge could be for both parties involved. Um, I'm good with it. So is Loss, who after being declared the winner, has to start campaigning again. I, I beat him in this election. I can do it again in November. Probably throw some signs back up and let the people know, you know, that it's not over till it's over, I guess. Yeah. And I'm sure Richard will do the same. Now, there's no Democrat running for the spot, so Moore and Loss will be the only ones on the ballot. Let's hope there's not a tie this time.